Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with a tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Nothing like stepping on the ice in the Ralph. Like gives me goosebumps every time just thinking about it. Louis Jamernick V is a hockey player. A junior at the University of North Dakota, the Calgary native has become one of the top defensive forwards in the NCHC and a key member of UND's Penrose Cup winning teams each of the last two seasons. Louis is just such a hard worker. He's a team first guy. He, he, he's an everyday in everything he does. He's a gritty player. Um, but he has hard skill, and that's kind of a commonality between um, a lot of our players we have here and the type of guys we bring in. Growing up in Alberta, Louis took to hockey before he could walk. My dad told me I wanted to be in skate since I was one. Took me out on the ice and started playing organized when I was four. Playing hockey is pretty fun. But while he's always been drawn to the ice, Jamernick discovered another lifelong passion at a young age. One as unique and as challenging as the sport he's currently starring in. Grand Forks Tower, Mooney 9640 right. Mike is holding short of 17 right, uh, ready for departure. Planes are just wild to me. You see, Louis Jamernick V is a pilot, or at least a pilot in training. <laughs> I mean, I love to fly. It's just another level of freedom. It's, I don't even know how to describe it. Since he was 10 years old, the only rival to Louis's love for hockey has been his dream to be up in the clouds. My voice had a flight simulator on my mom's computer and just playing it, I loved it. Both grandparents uh, flew my, my uh, study ethic on dad's side. He, he got his private license at 50 years old. And then my grandfather, he was a navigator in the Air Force for Canada. Following in his grandfather's footsteps was always Louis's goal, but as he continued to excel on the ice, playing college hockey in the States entered the picture, thanks in part to his Alberta Junior League coach, Tyler Dice. So I was playing junior hockey in Okotoks and, and my head coach kind of called me in and he goes, if you could play anywhere, where would it be? And I just said, kind of half-hearted as a joke, you know, North Dakota, just because being from Western Canada, North Dakota is a place to be. From there, he just said, um, like, what do you want to do? And I want to fly. And so he said, give me a list of schools that have flying. So I found the top, well, the, I guess the only five schools with Div 1 hockey and flying, um, and North Dakota's number one on that list. Wanting to play at UND is one thing. Being good enough to do so is another. But there was something about Louis' game that caught the attention of head coach Brad Berry. He was the guy that get, just kept, kept coming up on, on how we play at North Dakota, a guy that has very high skill level, but a guy that competes extremely hard. An Alberta native himself, Barry attended one of Louis's games in Edmonton just before Christmas in 2019, and the rest is history. It was a garbage game. We were losing four or five nothing within the first five minutes of the game, and um, I, you know, I kind of, you know, had a couple big hits and and then fought this guy. A rookie on his junior team was getting pushed around and beat up and he jumped in the pile and just grabbed the guy and, and just said, hey, if you want to mess with somebody, mess with me. And that's what a, a team first guy does. I guess that was enough to get Bubs' attention and bring me down to North Dakota. When I got the call, I, I was losing my mind because it's number one of both. The term best of both worlds is the truest form sentence ever for this situation. 
Jammernick arrived in Grand Forks in January of 2021 and quickly carved out a niche for himself in the UND lineup, all while starting the gauntlet of being a commercial aviation major at the top flight school in the U.S. I don't think we had too many aviation students come through here, and it's not because they don't want to, it's just because of the time commitment of it. Jackson probably asked me five times, are you sure you want to do both? We're all student athletes, very time consuming, but uh, that aviation is a whole new level, so he's getting flights in when he can pretty much any day that weather allows. Um, I can't even imagine how much work that is. Up at about 6 a.m. and you're at the rink till, till noon and then you get to class and then I think we were up in the air three times a week and then you come home, do homework and watch maybe about half an hour of TV if there's time and then you're back to bed, so not a whole lot of free time. It's hard, but it's not that hard because you know when you love to do something, it's pretty fun to do it. A leader in the locker room on a perennial national title contender, Jamernick has also maintained a 4.0 in the classroom while earning his private pilot's license in the process. I've had amazing flight instructors. Scheduling was very tight, and, it, and it's tight even in the semester. So if it wasn't for uh, Ryan, Sydney, and Brett, you know, really changing up their schedules to accommodate for mine, I, I would not have had a chance to finish in the semesters. Beautiful. It's very smooth out today. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty solid. Look at that. Wow. In the summer, we were flying five, six times a week. During the year with hockey and fall semester, it's, it's a little trickier, but yeah, we made it work. Louis's goal is to be a commercial pilot someday, though a full-time career in the skies will be on hold until his time on the ice concludes. So for now, this delicate balance of two extraordinary worlds will continue for the impeccable Louis Jamernick V, both player and pilot. I want to play pro hockey, I want to play in the NHL, that's always been my goal and I'm going to continue to pursue that I think. But just having the opportunity to do both while I'm here, I think it's, it's been perfect. So to work towards both goals at the same time, is you can't beat that. You know, it's a little mental break, kind of mentally reset with, uh, you know, whatever you need to do or break, whether that's hang out with your friends or family, and then also let the body rest. Uh, you know, the 10 days off were very important for having everybody come back healthy here for the second half. Yeah, I just went back to Manitoba and, um, you know, hung out with the family. Um, don't get to see them much through the year, so it's kind of nice to get back and just relax, shut down for a little bit. And, um, you know, I was obviously excited to, to get back here, but uh, yeah, just being able to hang out with the family is definitely nice. Yeah, I ended up uh, going home seeing some family and uh, yeah it was uh, pretty relaxing you know, I got to get out of the uh, minus 20 degree weather go down to Florida and it was uh, a little bit nicer ooh best meal I'd say like we made a lot of guac I guess like for like, Christmas we do like a lot of like appetizer things so like some homemade fresh guac was super good then uh, some queso dip oh um, I would have to say my uh, we have this like French toast bake on uh, Christmas morning and that's, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, um, probably just Christmas dinner. You know, turkey, uh, pierogies, ham, uh, mashed potatoes, you know, just the basic stuff. So um, yeah, that'd definitely be it for me. Yeah, no, it's super exciting uh, when, you know, get back here for the first time, seeing everyone in the locker room for the first time. Again, it's fun uh, to see what they did. I know I, as soon as I crossed that border, I had a big smile on my face ready to, to get back here. So, um, you know, we're so fortunate here always. So um, it's not a bad place to be at. And, um, you know, obviously looking forward to the second half and we know we've got to make a push, so um, having that in the back of our minds obviously is very exciting as well. We're just really ready to, ready to get this started, you know, and, and we know we have seven games at home coming up, so that's, just, that's huge for us, just knowing that we'll be at home for that long and be able to get something rolling here. Yeah.